Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Today I'm excited to announce a new plugin. It's called Divi Search Helper. This plugin upgrades the existing Divi Search module, which as you know, needs a serious upgrade. And this plugin gives it. It adds all kinds of design features to the search field and the search button. It adds search criteria like searching by post type or taxonomy, and it adds a lot of really helpful features to the search results page. So let's take a quick look at everything this offers. You can go ahead and click the link in the description to either the blog post or over to the product page and learn more and see this for yourself. I'll go over some of the features here. So we have a features chart that you can look at and I've kind of broken the plugin, at least version one, into four categories of features. So the search field, you can see a lot of things, the search button, and then the search criteria and search results. So it's kind of uh, obvious here, but all 25 of these features are not available in, in Divi by default. As you know, it's, it's one of the worst modules, I think, to use. Um, but it can also be one of the most helpful modules to have for your customers. So I'll just go through some of these features quickly. I have like a graphic that I made. It's not actually a screenshot, but you know, it's a graphic used to try to show what feature we're talking about. So I'll just go over these. So in the search field, related to the search field, um, a search icon, you can have like, it's kind of decorative. You can choose whatever icon. Um, when you start typing, it will show this, um, X, you know, or whichever icon you want to, to clear that what you've typed. That's pretty cool. Um, the field background color, the focus background color, field border, um, field focus border, and then the uh, field margin and padding, box shadow. So standard stuff. Well, I say standard stuff, but it's not available by default. Okay. Um, here's the things about the search button. So Maybe you just want to only show an icon. That's cool. Maybe you want to show text and icon. This is just saying like you can have full design control over this, the size, color, the hover, like all of that stuff. Maybe you want to have your custom text. You don't want it to say search. Maybe you want it to say find or, um, you know, find the post or find whatever you're finding. <laughs> uh, position, you could actually put it on the left if you wanted, or you could totally hide it and then use just the enter button, you know, if you wanted to do that. And there's border settings, there's box shadow settings, all the design settings. Okay. Um, so search queries. So basically the criteria that each, wherever you use this module, like if you had this module on your blog page, well, you don't want it to be showing, you know, um, things that they, you don't want it to be searching for like WooCommerce products that kind of thing. Okay. So you can choose the post type, right? And then you can choose the taxonomy. That's pretty cool because like, that's pretty crazy because maybe you like for me, I know on my website, like I have, um, different post types, but in the, like, if you're looking at documentation for the search helper, I would only want you to search for post related to the search helper, not to some other plugin that I have. So that's a taxonomy. So, you know, an example of ways you could narrow that down. Uh, here you can like, do you want it to be searching in the post title or in the excerpt or in the content itself or in the meta? See, that's pretty cool. Like that's, that's pretty cool stuff right there. Um, then the search results page. So as you know, in the Divi theme builder, you have a search results page. So we have some features to help that. Oh, first of all, do you want to show the results in alphabetical order, publish date, or random, and ascending or descending? And then here's a cool thing. So you can customize the heading text. So by default, it will just say like, um, I think it says search results for, and then your term, whatever term you typed into the field. Now you can have number of results and search term, and you can customize this. So you could say, um, you know, the number of results, and then you could say search results, for, uh, or like, you know, you can cut, you can rearrange those things however you want. Um, now here's, here's where I think it's super interesting. Replace the no results message. So by default, if you search and there's nothing there, um, like, let's, like, let's say you search in, for blog post or products and it's not there because it's not relevant to it. 
So back up here in the in the chart, you can see replace blog no search results with Divi Library Layout. Replace Woo products no search results with Divi Library Layout. So whichever one you're using, instead of it just saying no results, you can you could add a button. You could say hey and make it fun and like have a graphic. You know how some sites do. Like um, yeah. Anyway, but you can make the layout in the Divi Library and then it'll show there if the, if there is no results. All right, so then we have a live demo documentation and of course the product page. Now let's quickly jump over to the live demo. So here I made these demos. You can download these, okay? So um, I just have like 21 or so right now. So basically I just went through it and tried to make some nice looking, you know, see that where that comes up or like focus collar or whatever. Little icon there, it's nice. Uh, I just tried to make some nice looking designs. That's it, you know. Like you can customize these, you can download whichever one you think is cool to maybe you want to see how I did it. You know, maybe you want to be like, hey, what, what settings did I adjust for for that, you know? Um, that would be one thing you could do here with it. Um, so yeah, I've made 21 so far. <laughs> if anyone wants to make more for me, you can go ahead and do that. I got tired of it after making 21. You can um, go over to the product page and basically it's the exact same things I showed you all that information, you can go to the uh, documentation, um, go to the settings list and follow the getting started guide. And maybe we'll make some more guides, I'm not sure, depending, I'm not sure if we need more guides or not, like on how to use it. It works like a regular module, you know. In fact, I should show you, so I'll enable the builder here on the demo. I should show you. See, that's what it looks like by default there. Keep in mind, this video is being made prior to Divi 5.0. So at this time, they don't render our settings, okay? There's no visual preview of our settings. There's nothing we can do about it. There's absolutely nothing we can do about it. It's just the way Divi works at the current point of time. So I know it's annoying, but you're just going to have to, like what I do is duplicate my tab and then just have my second tab where I refresh the page a lot. Like, like, like say I come in here and change some settings um, here you can see the placeholder text, and maybe I want to show the icon, whatever. Um, maybe I pick a different icon. I'm just like, oh, I want to see what that looks like. Then I'll just go to my second tab and refresh quickly. Um, you can see some of these settings are here. Um, search button, you know, you can choose the location and the text, and then these search options here. Depending on which post types are on your site. Design options, mostly just in the search field like lots and lots of options and then in the search button um, and these are all settings that um, you just don't have by default okay they'll show up automatically when you install our plugin all right so hope you like that hope that this is something that you find very useful and if this is something you are searching for i hope you have found it now and yeah um i keep the prices pretty affordable uh, I'll try to make it an easy decision for you. Um, very practical, very functional features here. And of course, this is version one. So as you know, we usually add more features as we start selling it and start um, getting feedback from you. So now's your chance to try it out and play around and say, hey, can you add this feature or can you add that feature? And we'll consider it. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy this new plugin. You can tell I'm excited about it and I hope you are too.